Welcome back to PolPolitikin.com, your home for self-help meets hip-hop. Make sure you go on Spotify, we're on Google Play, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. Type in PolPolitik and listen to some of our interviews for the past 12 years. One, two, one, two, and place to be with James Savage. How you doing, bro? Oh, man, I'm doing lovely, man. Can't complain. Still Nothing. quarantining, man, as you can see, just happy to be outside. Yeah, then I can't can't even fuck with the big homie man. Start working out, so I don't you know start slipping out here. I had to start getting back on that on that workout. You know what I'm saying? I know, right? I need a shave. I need a shave, man. I got all this wolf pussy on my face, man. But hey, man. I need yeah. shave too. Now I would say, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people might not know. Uh, you know, you go by your name, your your other name was J O Felony, but James Savage is your real name, right? Yeah, no doubt. James Savage is happy to be my, my birth name, my, my, my government name. And, um, you know, shout out to my bro, X to the Z Exhibit. Uh, we put a, a, we actually put a, a, a project out called Broken Ground. And um, I got a new album out under the James Savage, you know, moniker, you know what I'm saying, under my real name. For all those that don't know that they got love for J.O. Felony and my music. It's a new album that I got out with me and my nigga X to the Z. You know what I mean? We put a project out called Broken Ground. We only, we only, uh, put it out through World Star. So they it was like uh each episode got over a million views each day they showed it. But you know what I mean? That was the only spot we had it out. But it's a project called Broken Ground with me and exhibit. Shout out to Open Bar Entertainment man this shit is dope. And the new album called is James Savage it's out on all platforms. Check it out. That's what's up. And I know like I said, um I've been out here for like twenty years. And the whole time I've been out here I've been hearing your name. So I'm finally I interviewed you and Slick. So I feel like I got the Kings of San Diego out and interviewed them. No doubt. So what made no doubt, you, that's what it's about. So what what made you just go back to the early beginnings? Like what made you kind of like fall into hip hop in the first place? Oh man, hey man, I, I just love love rapping as a kid. You know what I'm saying? And just basically, I just love music. Period. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like when when rap came out, it was so crazy when I when I heard somebody say a cuss word on a record. You know what I'm saying? And the first one that did that was uh. When I heard that, I heard uh, Grandmaster Flash when they had the don't push me because I'm close to the edge. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So it's like, that's when I got into the game, bro. So it's like, I just love rap. You know what I'm saying? I love Run DMC, LL Cool J, all the, all the historical cats, NWA, you know what I'm saying? So it, it was a blessing for me to take that path, man. I've been, I've been J.O. Felony. I've been having that name actually since I was 15 years old. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was in juvenile hall, and I seen felony carved on the desk. And I was like, man, that's it. And, and J.O. stand for justice against y'all oppressors. So I never leave my name, but it's a new me. It's what, what the point was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then I'm from Mississippi. So I remember the first time hearing you, and then you was a Def Jam. So I had no idea you was from the West Coast. And I think a lot of other people, then, they was yeah. from the East Coast. Because you got those bars, like those East Coast bars. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. Shout yeah. out to Dev Jam, you know what I'm saying? Dev Jam was, hey, they used to treat me like a baby over there, man. I had a, I actually had a 10 album deal. I would still be putting out albums on Def Jam if I didn't beg to leave, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just, I'm just thankful I had that experience in my life, man, to show me the ropes. And it's definitely was, was a lot of good people working at Def Jam that I had a lot of love for. You know what I'm saying? Like Tina Davis and Deidre and, and Bimmy and all them. I had a lot of love for those guys, even Russell Simmons and, and Lior and all of them. You know what I'm saying? Because it was, it was a family thing over there. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was def definitely happy to have that experience in my life and be on such a major label with all those major artists, you know? So why did you want to I mean, leave? I mean, I wanted to leave because I wanted to be on my own. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't want to... I didn't... I didn't, I, at that time I was a young kid and I didn't fucking, you know, really understand the business like that. So if I would have asked somebody like, like how Ja Rule had Irv Gotti and how, how um, DMX, other people handling the business, you know what I'm saying? But, but when I was there, it was just me and I didn't have uh, someone like that in my corner to fight my battles so I could just remain to be the artist. So it wasn't just all on them, you know what I mean? It wasn't all they fault. It was just, it was just, I didn't have a proper representation as well as I wanted to I wanted to control my own shit and one thing I didn't like about being on the label was when they tell you when the fuck you releasing your music and I definitely didn't like that I don't give a fuck what label it was I just never liked a nigga telling me when I well my energy telling me I want to drop right now and you telling me let's push the shit back for whatever reason you know what I mean 
I never yeah. liked that shit. So I'm just, I'm glad I finally, I finally got my own situation to where I can drop music whenever I want. And it's the best feeling in the fucking world. You know what I mean? But you were signed, so you were signed to Jam Master J first? Yeah, I was signed to Jam Master J's label first uh, over there with Onyx. Shout out to and him, you know what I mean? I was over there with uh, Jam Master J, and once Jam Master J's label was no longer affiliated with Def Jam, I went directly to Def Jam, you know what I mean? So um, Lior signed me to Def Jam and that was it. You know what I mean? So I was over there, the man DMX on a single, shout out to my niggas, you know, and, and wrote it out. But after that, I was about to put the, my album out, was called Hide It in Fish Creeks at the time. And I was about to release that record. I remember I was on the Up and Smoke tour with Dre and Snoop and them. And, um, and that's what happened, man. They, they, uh, my album was supposed to drop a certain time and then they wanted to push it back. And I just, I don't know, I just, I wasn't going for that shit. I just was sick of that because I, I didn't want to go through that no more. So I, I don't like having no fucking boss, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody telling me what to do. I mean, we're a team, we're going to do it right. But when the momentum is right, you got to drop the shit, you know what I'm saying? And by them not, not, not knowing my life, you got all these fucking people that never lived your life. So, so it's like, nigga, let's drop right now. You know what I'm saying? I got my folks behind me, you going to be successful. And, and Crip Hop, when I did Crip Hop, I did that on my own. You know what I'm saying? And it was successful, independent. You know what I mean? I, I fucking rocked out with Crip Hop. And, and it was the most fun that I had doing the project because I had my whole hood behind me. My shit was right. I was, I was fucking, uh, uh, I had a fucking uh, video on, on BET. You know what I'm saying? I fucking had the Trued Up song that was, that was on Motown Universal. So I was moving and doing my shit. You know what I mean? And I was having fun and niggas was spooked. And they was taking my fucking record off of uh, the radio. Like I was, I was, I was getting into it with Jay Z at the time. You know what I'm saying? And um, and uh, when they was playing Trued Up, the label was actually coming back behind that and, and telling the program directors, if you play that record, then we ain't gonna do your summer jam and shit like that. You know what I mean? So I wasn't just going against the artists; I was going against the machine. You know? Why was it? Because the song was just too hot. Yeah, it was too hot. I was, I was airing shit out. And I made it in New York, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I made it with um, my cat, my nigga Jimmy Hitchman, he was, he, he didn't want to help me make the record, you know what I'm saying? So it, was, it came out on Motown, so niggas was spooked. I was all in the Marcy Projects, all kind of shit, cripping, you know what I mean? I was just being me, my nigga, before it was gangbanging out there, you know what I mean? And then, and then I was all in Mike Tyson neighborhood with the Damus out there, you know what I'm saying? I hopped out the limo seat up, nigga, blue chucks, Khaki suit, nigga, the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? I got the limo, blue rags, all that. Nigga, they said money ill without no niggas with me. I was by myself with two New York bitches. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I got the limo, nigga, seed up with all Damus and Mike Tyson old neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? You've been and, it's, and it's history about it, nigga. It's a, it, the shit went up in the newspaper, nigga. Nigga want to go do do your research, nigga. Try to blame it on me, ass nigga. Yeah, I was gonna say too, then I was looking, so it seemed like, I wanna ask if this is true, cause it seemed like after Crip Hop, you didn't drop nothing until like 20, um, 2019. Was that yeah, fact? after Crip Hop, yeah, after Crip Hop came out, um, I got signed with Treacherous Records, right? So that's not anybody named Treacherous Records. Treach? Huh? That's Treach? No, Treacherous. Okay. Treacherous Records, this is my, my Armenian cats, you know what I'm saying? They had a, uh, distribution with Universal, and I had an album called In the Trenches, right? So that was supposed to be released, and I didn't know what happened with the situation, you know what I'm saying? Because they was in charge, so that album never came out. After that, about 2010, push up to there, I went to the pen for uh, kicking the police window out and uh, all that old shit, and they got me, the police got me with criminal threats, you know what I'm saying? But uh. I just happened to have my Timberland boots on that day. I had my tan Timberland boots on that day and the motherfucking police maced me real close up in the face and I kicked this fucking window out. So, so because once they maced me, they threw me in the back seat and I was handcuffed and I got fucking asthma and shit. And I could have, I could have been the nigga. I can't, I was the motherfucking, I can't breathe. God uh -huh. damn it. And, 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 and uh, they was just outside holding the conversation while I was in the back seat, fucking gasping for air. You know what I mean? 
and they had the fucking windows rolled up, and I and and I and I was shit was burning my eyes, so my mind just said kick the fucking window out. So when I kicked the window out, that's when they got some act right. You know what I'm saying? Huh. That's when they got some act right, and they hurry up and rush me into the jail. They hurry up and rush me into the jail, and then after they rush me into the jail, they put they put fucking uh like one of them fucking masks on my face, like I'm gonna spit on them or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They rolling me into the goddamn jail like I'm Hannibal Lecter or some dumb shit. You know? So so I've been through a whole lot of shit is my point. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm gonna ask you, man. I know you've been in the game for a minute, so shit. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this too. One thing about it, you check my file, nigga. Whenever I did go to jail, as jail felony as a well-known rapper like all these other rappers, I bet you I ain't never put. I bet you that much. I ain't never been PC'd up, nigga. When I, if I ever did go to jail, I wrote it main line like everybody else, squabble up, nigga, whatever, nigga. Check my file, and that's what I want to say about a lot of these rap niggas talking all this tough shit on these micans, acting like they they with the shit, but they go to jail and they won't be on general population. Then stop talking tough, nigga. I'm talking about whoever that you fit. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. So, you know, I know you've been in the game for like shit over 20 years. So, how you feel about the game right now? With the, you know, got a new generation of rappers right now. The game is puppy shit. That's what it is. The game is puppy shit, man. People allowing too much bullshit to go on in the game. Niggas should have been out here picketing and all kind of shit when they let. Let that goddamn snitch get out of jail and do this weird ass shit that nigga just did. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I ain't, I ain't feeling that shit. That shit is fool gazy, neighborhood crip. Huh. <laughs> I would say I saw you coming out with a new project called Hood Vision. Hood and Invasion. Hood Invasion. Hood, Hood Invasion. invasion. Yeah. yeah. Hood Invasion in the trenches coming out July 24th on my own label, Loco Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? My Number shit, four. nobody else shit. My albums, my albums, my company, my everything. Why you think that's important? Because there ain't no other way you should have it. This shit, I done been through all kind of shit. I deserve to have my own shit, you know what I'm saying? Period. And, and I know niggas been stealing my shit since I've been out here. I ain't no fucking joke, man. You know what I'm saying? I know niggas been stealing my ideas and stealing shit from me since my whole career. And now I'm just happy to, to, to come with the shit. It's like, I'm the fucking dope, man. I got all the dope. You know what I'm saying? I'm just happy to be able to, to be in my own lane and, and bring my shit out. And I ain't talking about no fucking drugs. I'm talking about dope music. I got all the dope. I ain't got to listen to nobody else to make my shit. What do you think they, what are they stealing from you, the other artists? All kind of shit. I ain't even going to get into that. But just know, man, if you check your file, you'll know. I ain't going to get into that. July 24th, in the hood, motherfucking in the trenches, and hood invasion, powered by Sir Jinx. You know what I mean? Local entertainment. It's out on all platforms. Shout out to Dashco. You know what I mean? Distribution for helping me get this shit cracking. And it's about to go down, man. J.O. Felony back. You know what I mean? Oh, you dropping two albums. Up. And they stupid hard. I can't wait to hear that shit. And yeah, I got I two videos coming out, one for each album. I got Hug the Block, a video coming out for that. And I got another video coming out for Block Party, produced by Jelly Roll. And when I say Jelly Roll, I'm not talking about that other motherfucking new Jelly Roll. I'm talking about the original Jelly Roll, nigga, that we know. Cuz, jelly roll, cuz. Nigga, stop getting my nigga confused with the other whoever jelly roll is. <laughs> yeah, you said you had a lot to talk about, man. So what else you just want to talk about? It's whatever, it's open mic. Hey, hey, man, go get that new album. You know what I'm saying? I got some more shit coming out with my homeboy Sly. Shout out to my nigga Sly the Piper. You know what I'm saying? He works, he works heavily with Dr. Dre. And we got a new project coming out. We deep like 30 songs. Shout out to Dr. Dre for helping us get some of the music recorded. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a, hey man, I'm honored to put this new music out for you guys to hear it. And it's a different side from J.O. Felony. It's not, you know what I'm saying? All the other shit, it's, it's the people know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no crazy nigga. I like Coochie too, nigga. Ain't gonna get it fucked up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm giving salute to the real females out there. 
know what I'm saying? And showing y'all, nigga, yeah, nigga. Nigga like that coochie throw, but I love it. That's it. Nigga, I'm going to show y'all what it is. So my Cause it, it, man, man, I can't wait for you guys to hear what I'm doing, man. I'm just finally happy, so happy to be able to put out music like, like I'm not gonna be playing. I'm gonna be dropping some shit, shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited. I don't give a fuck what they talking about. And one thing about it, I'm gonna tell you this too. When you're good at what you do, you don't give a fuck what generation doing what. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. When you're good at what you do, that's all the fuck matters. Everything else gonna fall in line. And I'm not in no generation fucking. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't give a fuck about none of that. If you make good music, I don't give a fuck if you 10 years old or fucking 100 years old. The shit is dope. It's dope, period. So shout out to all my young niggas. I don't give a fuck you mumble rapping or whatever, nigga. If that shit hard, it's hard, period. You know what I'm saying? saying? How would you describe your creative process when you making music, what you be doing? Man, I just stay up and I just, I study my craft. You know what I'm saying? I listen to the best people that I think is the best and I study my craft. You know what I'm saying? Like any other nigga, any other nigga that's the best boxing or 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 uh whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? If you boxing, if you if you playing basketball or whatever, you're gonna study the greats and try to be great. You know what I'm saying? Or you just in the fucking way. Who you study? You just man, I ain't hey, it ain't your business, man. You can't go <laughs> nigga, goddamn it, cuz. Yeah, you nigga, interview niggas be tripping, don't you? Hey, hey. man, hey, man, nah, man, I'm fucking with you. Nah, man, but I, I listen to a, a lot of guys, man. I listen to, you know, guys like Kendrick Lamar. I listen to, uh, to, to fucking Nip, to motherfucking uh, 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 Scarface, Tupac, Ice Cube, E-40. You know what I'm saying? You don't knock it off. Now listen to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, I got to shout too you Too short, out, my man. nigga, too short, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Method Man, nigga. Shit. Nigga, I Eminem, nigga, uh, Eminem, all that. Nigga, I listen to all that. I got to shout nigga, you Lil out. Wayne, um, Lil Wayne, nigga. Lil Wayne be gassing like a motherfucker. Nigga, I listen to all that. Nah, I say I got to shout you out for doing that song with 8-Ball and JG, though. That, that's what I No I like doubt. Them yeah. my riders right there, man. Them good them good people, man. Shout out to my niggas, man. Them all, they always have my back. You know what I'm saying? Every time they come to Cali, man, I fuck with 8-Ball and them, man. You know what I'm what? saying? I ain't seen them in a while, man. All this quarantine bullshit going on. But hey, I ain't playing with it though. You know that. Hey man, wear your mask, man. Don't be bullshitting out here, nigga. Yeah, you was talking about the Up and Smoke tour earlier. What were some of your favorite tours you've been on so far? That uh, the favorite, my my favorite shit, man, is what we just did in Europe, man, with my nigga Exhibit Problem, Razzcast, Bimrick, my nigga Tato, man. Hey, we had the funniest time. On my, hey, I had I had some fun like a motherfucker, man. And I'm a nigga. I got jokes, man. So I, I was on there, man. Oh, man, man, man. Hey, <laughs> I was on that motherfucker clowning, boy. Me, me and Problem laughed so motherfucking much. Man, that shit was fun, man. We had a ball and we had each other's back. So that was like my favorite shit. You know what I'm saying? And I finally got to see Europe, man. X held it down. We rocked every night. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot about myself and all, all the guys I was with. You know what I'm saying? That shit was dope as fuck. You know what I mean? I had Crips all in Paris and Holland and, oh man, that shit was, it was incredible. Yeah, I just actually just got through talking to um, Elder Sensei from the Artifacts. He answered the same yeah. question. What's the difference between um, performing in the States and performing in Europe? What was the difference to you? Uh, yeah, I, I, overseas, man, I think, uh, I don't know. Cause with me, I have fun everywhere. So I can't say, say no different but you know what I'm saying if they love your shit man they gonna go up with you but they really they really appreciate the music over there you know what I'm saying they really appreciate the shit you know what I'm saying and they and they be whatever you tell them to do they gonna do it you know what I'm saying sometimes motherfuckers get a lazy in America because we Americans so they be like oh we just seen this nigga two weeks ago you know what I'm saying <laughs> so it's a different feel when you go overseas and people really give you give you your flowers mm. And what are some ways, like you were saying, uh, you think we can keep this hip hop culture alive, like the real hip hop culture? Oh man, just keep mashing, man, and have fun with it, man. And you know, we just we just got to keep it alive, man. We got to do that part. You know what I'm saying? I love hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I be talking shit like fuck hip hop, this crip hop, but I'm just being creative. You know what I'm saying? That's all. But I love hip hop and what it's you know, 
and just music, period, man. So I'm just happy to be doing my part, you know what I'm saying? And much love to everybody that got my back, you know what I'm saying? Don't get it all, Mr. Screw. I ain't smoking no weed. I've been working now and shit. So I just hit a blunt a couple of times, fuck with my boy. But I'm back to my shit. I'm going to be back working out tonight. So don't get it fucked up. But um, everybody stay safe out there. I know it's a whole bunch of, you know, stuff going on in the streets. So everybody be safe out there, man, and watch y'all back and keep your eyes open and, and don't fall victim to what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't be stupid out here. You know what I'm saying? If 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 you know if a cop pull you over, man, and you know, don't don't be don't 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 fucking lose your life, man. Just you know, don't don't fucking lose your life out here trying to, you know, I don't know what to say, but but don't lose your life, man. Just try to get past it. You know what I'm saying? Say fuck it when you roll off to the motherfucker or something. Fuck that motherfucker. But don't lose your life out here fucking around. And y'all cops, stop fucking around. Nigga, y'all niggas need to be held accountable. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all tripping. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it is what it is, man. But I just want people to be safe. Wear your fucking mask. Don't act like there's no goddamn conspiracy or nothing like that. All these people in these hospitals and everybody, these these people on the front line out here, man, seeing this stuff firsthand and that shit is breaking my heart. So about that, on some serious note, wear your mask, man. Don't be no asshole out here, man. If you don't care about yourself, at least worry about the other people that's around. So, you know what I'm saying? You take that shit to grandma and she get the cough and then your ass gonna be crying, oh, I'm grandma. So mm -hmm. nigga, wear your fucking mask. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna say, so how would you, what would you say your story is as MC and how would you want your, your legacy to be viewed? Justice against y'all oppressors is what J-O stands for, right? Justice against y'all oppressors. I've been that guy since I was 15. So people, you know, try to get things misconstrued because, you know, they see me throwing up a set or whatever or, or a hood. Man, I've been doing this shit when BET was, it wasn't cool with BET. So don't talk that shit to me. I ain't just start doing this, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So don't talk that shit to me. I've been doing this when they was banning this shit from BET. Like, I got a fucking uh, video with, like we was talking about, called True It Up. That video was supposed to be aired, and they didn't air it because I was gang banging in it. You know what I'm saying? From San Diego to LA. You know what I mean? So all I'm saying is, man, it's, I just want people to know it's not, I'm not gangbanging, I'm just a crip. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference. I'm not out here tripping. I got dumb moves and crips that got my back. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not out here gangbanging and fucking with people because that's not what this is. Crip is a way of life, man. Community revolution and progress. That means protect your motherfucking community at all costs. They don't sound like go kill a nigga because he got red. You understand? So don't get me misconstrued with no fucking gangbanger. Because I be hearing some people say, oh, niggas out here, 50 years old, still gangbanging. You sound stupid as fuck because you never lived this way of life. So you don't even understand what you're talking about. And then <laughs> little homies be looking at your site like, hey, better shut up. We shoot your bitch ass in your face, punk. You know what I'm saying? Because you're a square and you don't know this life. So shut up. I'm trying to be peaceful. And it's better, you know what I'm saying, to try to unite people through music instead of doing stupid shit. But I'm not going to fucking sit up here. Nigga, I've been doing this shit since I was 12 years old. My nigga, I'm not finna sit up here and be playing the fuck around like this ain't my life. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. That's some hypocrite shit. And I ain't even gangbanging or nothing. I'm just letting motherfuckers know who I am. People love it. Nigga, I'm jail felony. Thank God that I still got life, nigga, and I ain't did no whole shit. Nigga, fuck that. Nigga, go get them two albums. Crip. Now you bull. I'm going to say, what you think about <laughs> It's been a lot of rapper devs. How you feel about all these? Like, it seems like it's picking up now. You notice know, what? A lot of like rapper devs. Rapper devs? Yeah. Like, you just a dude hey, that man, hey, man, hey, hey, man, hey, man. What the fuck you want me to do, man? Nigga, like nigga said, stay dangerous, man. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Niggas, everybody got, can get it, man. People die on the street every day. Don't nobody be saying shit. You know what oh. I'm saying? I got friends dying. They don't rap. Nigga, they ain't got no voice. You know what I'm saying? Nigga got to bury them. Nobody say nothing. Nobody even care. You know what I'm saying? There's real people dying on the street every day, man. You know what I'm saying? Just because you rap, you got to still be safe, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Shit. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers die every day, man. Shit. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. You kind of mentioned this too, but so what would you say to any new artist? Because we interview a lot of new artists on here. So what advice would you give to a new artist? 
What'd you say? What advice would you give to a new artist? A new artist, nigga? Shit. Hey, man. Man, man, love what you do, man. You know what I'm saying? And really be about it, man. If it's, it's going to be a blessing, if, if it's meant to happen, it's going to be a blessing. Some motherfuckers stumble up and get lucky and ain't about shit, and they still get their music out, and they just luck up and, and get a career or something. But, you know what I'm saying? On, on some 40s shit, this is meant to be, man. My niggas, this is what they love me for, man. I made up crib hop, my nigga. Uh, what would you like to say to your fans and supporters? Much love. I love y'all. I'm coming soon to rock with y'all. And nigga, don't get it. Ha <laughs> ha In my motherfucking fit it. Um, <laughs> right. I want to say thanks for coming through politics with me. Hey, man, much love for having me, man. I'm just clowning and having fun, man. But I can't wait to get back to the people and perform and shit. I really appreciate you for having this platform, too, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this I mean, is dope. Yeah, no doubt. I would say this shit kind of a little choppy, so I might have to just roll up on you one day, too, and get an interview whenever this shit open up some. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get it in, man. I appreciate you, man. Let's, let's make this shit big. We're going to make this shit big. Then what's your social media and everything? My uh, James Savage Music on Instagram. And then my motherfucking uh, uh, Facebook, the same shit. But I'm about to change it back to Jail Felony in a minute.